Hey everyone, it's Marco here, back once again from my color screen. If you've ever wanted to customize your Android home screen and you never know quite exactly what to do, well, welcome to today's video tutorial. So today's video tutorial is on a very popular screen of the day by Gary Art. He's such a legend in the My Color Screen community with his new screen, Blue Whites 2. And why is it called Blue Whites? Well, it gives it that look of a kind of like a maths drawing board or, or a workbook, you could say, of. And then that's the home screen. It looks really, really good. It really looks modern and kind of futuristic. And it's got all everything on the side there. So you've got your time, you've got your weather, you've got your weather condition icon and it just looks really good and fits really well on your home screen. It's a single page setup, so you've got everything that you need there and if everything down the center row or center column, it's got all of your icons such as your phone, your messages, your mail, all the important apps down the center and they can easily be jumped to and edited if you wish. So let us begin with today's video tutorial. Great, so starting out, you just wanna have a stock wallpaper. Um, if you have any um, icons or widgets, you just wanna swipe them into the X below. So you can start with your nervous settings. You're gonna hold down on your home screen. Um, you're welcome to use Apex Launcher as well as SS Launcher, or even Holo Launcher for all the gingerbread fans out there. So yeah, whatever works well for you. I'm gonna go into your nervous settings here by tapping the wrench. And now you can go into your desktop. Your desktop grid, a 9x7 works really well. It's for Gary Arts' favorite, so we're gonna go okay with that. Your margins, you want to be none. Your shadows, you want to be off. Your label icons, you want to be off. And you want to be able to resize all widgets. Uh, widgets overlap, um, not too important, but if you're using a different phone and the, um, the icons get in the way, you might have to need widget overlap. Great, and that's pretty much it. You just want to have your dock disabled and you're good to go. There are no, no more settings to change here. So let us move on to the wallpaper. Great, so for your wallpaper, very easy setup. I'm gonna, because I'm using my Nexus 4 though. If we go to wallpapers, I'd go for wallpaper wizardry. But if you're using say an S3 or the HTC, you're welcome to go with a standard wallpaper or quick pick. But wallpaper wizardry always works for me, so I really enjoy it. So you want to go back at the top there, select the little icon, and you need to find where you've copied your wallpaper onto your phone. So here is the folder to load up, and you want to select the one that shows you your wallpaper. Now for my Nexus 4, I just need to go set, I need to go stretch, and then wall, stretch portrait, and no scroll. So it's going to stretch the whole thing out for me, make it fit onto my Nexus 4. And there we have our wallpaper set up, ready for the UCCW widget on the side. Great, so for the UCCW, really easy to add. You just need to hold down on your home screen, select widgets. And you want to go to, or scroll all the way down to UCCW. Doesn't really matter what size you choose as, because you're importing it, you can resize it to whatever you want. So, didn't even look what that size was. You want to go into your use up now, at the top button here and you want to find where you've copied this onto your phone. So there is a use up, you just want to select it and just import it, it'll start importing for you. And once it's got your little white hand there, you just want to select it, you might have to give it some time, and you want to hold down and select resize. So I'm just going to resize it like that, a little bit down, get it to look good. And that's pretty much it, that when you, when you go into it now, some people, they, what happens is their weather goes all funny and it just shows CC or CT. If you, do, if you are having weather problems, you want to go into your menu here and then settings and then weather provider and change it to one or the other. And then you just might have to uh, get rid of the skin and then re-add it. So just a heads up on that. And remember, if, you keep, if your editor keeps popping up and you don't want it to, you're welcome to first change your hotspots by selecting your object here and your select object and then hotspots. As you can see, Gary Arts has already put in his own hotspots. What he's done is for the one at the bottom for update weather is when you select that, it'll just update your weather. Very simple, but you're welcome to add in your own hotspots. Um, I've provided a video tutorial at the bottom if you're not too sure on how to use hotspots, so you might wanna check it out. Once you got everything you, the way you want it to, you just wanna go back into your menu, lock widgets, and then go on. It's gonna enable hotspot mode, so when you touch it, nothing will open up unless say you want to update the weather and that gets tapped and it'll be updated. 
So that is your UCCW widget configured. All you have to do now is add in these icons down the middle. Let us do that. All right, so for these final icons, very, very easy setup to do, especially if you're using Nova Launcher, and I'll get to that now. To add in these icons, you just need to hold down and select apps. Now, the great thing about Nova Launcher is that you can say select multiple. Unfortunately for Apex, you're gonna have to add them in one by one, but it's not too much of a hassle. I'm just very lazy. So you might just wanna check out the screen to see what icons you can add, such as for your net, you can say your Chrome and Gmail for your mail, and then you continue on like that. Now, unfortunately, there's, say, if you don't have a books icon or you don't, you don't have anything for books, you might have to use the, I'll put, provide it in the link below. It's called Simple Text Icon Creator and it'll allow you to recreate these exact icons, so not to worry about that. So I'm just going to be selecting each one of these that I'll add onto my home screen. So my messaging, my RSS reader, dear reader, fantastic reader, your phone, your music player, and that should be it. So once you've got everything that you want, you want to just select add. We'll add them all in the top corner here for you so you can just basically drag them down. So there we have each one of the icons added here. The final one you want to add is your app drawer at the top here. So you want to hold down your home screen, select Nova Actions and you want to go into your app drawer and there it is added. So now if everything isn't configured too correctly or too well for you, then you might have to change your in your Nova settings or your launcher settings, your grid size as that'd be the first thing you want to change and next would be your margins just to see if you can get a better fit. However, if they still don't work, you might have to change your wallpaper, try and move it up or down and see what works best for you. But for now, we're gonna be editing these icons. So very easy to do. Say we'll take the male one, for example, you wanna hold down on it, select edit. You wanna select the picture and next you wanna go into your, say your gallery or your pick, quick pick, whatever software you use and then go into the folder that you've copied onto your phone. So say for male, you're just gonna select it like that and no way you worry about cropping, you just want to go OK and there it is set. You just need to select the tick and it'll configure it for you easy like that. So you're going to be doing each one of these. Say for the app drawer, you're just going to hold down on it for a while and select edit and then select the image again. Go back into where you've copied them and select the little, what, the little app drawer like that. Go OK and then select the tick. It's very, very simple to do. Great, so there are all the icons configured as well as the app draw. And remember, if you're using Nova Launcher, say if you want to create a group, very easy to do. You can create a group of folders just like this and then drag it down like that and place it onto your home screen. Very easy to do. I've done that and then hold down on this and then select edit and then change the icon like that. I've done it to the social folder over here. So it works really well if you want to add in some folders as well. So. Thank you very much guys for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial. Please leave us a like, comment or subscribe if you have, as well as if you have any problems, leave them in the comment section below and I'll get to them as soon as I can. So thank you very much guys for watching. This is Marco from My Color Screen and as always, don't stop customizing.